I, I shall speak about um, the researchers from uh, Norway and uh, Finland uh, who arrived to Sweden um, during the war. Um, it, it was about 830 researchers who arrived during the whole war. And um, to this, in addition to this, you can, you can um, add even uh, 100 from Denmark to Sweden. So something 1950, maybe up, up to 1,000 um, deserters uh, arrived in, from the west, you can say, to, to Sweden. Um, this uh, is a map uh, and um, the frontier, the border between Norway and Sweden is about 100 and 1,600 kilometers long. And that's a very different uh, ge geographical structure, climate and so on. So th there is many, many possibilities to, to um, escape to, to Sweden. It's um, difficult to, to, to um, watch the grants uh, for, for uh, the, the Germans writing. Uh, Finland, uh, like border in the north, uh, about 600 kilometers, the la land border. Uh, my, my thought is to, to um, speak a um, uh, little bit background information about, about the deserters to, to, to in a total. Age, uh, nationality, escape motives, and uh, then uh, even um, give information about the 28 deserters who were sent back to Norway and Finland uh, during the war. Uh, the development of the deserters, um, you can see that uh, about 80% of all deserters from Norway and Finland and Denmark arrived uh, autumn 44 and spring 45. Um, the first year of 1942-1943, uh, there were um, the, the deserters arrived alone, uh, mostly. And uh, in the two last years, in the especially uh, the, uh, the 44 and 45, uh, they came in uh, big groups, and in sometimes in mass groups. Uh, you can say. Um, for example, uh, in October 44, there came uh, 13 uh, Austrian deserters under the command of an unteroffizier. Without dramatic scenes, they came, came in, in in Kiruna, you see, in the, in the, up in the north. And, um, the same happened in Kiruna in April 45. 20 deserters, a platoon, uh, under the command of an Oberleutnant, uh, only German uh, soldiers who, who came in even without dramatic scenes. Uh, many patrol boats uh, from, uh, came in uh, March, April in, in um, 45 from. Um, to to Bursland, to harbors in Strömstad, um, in the west, Swedish west coast. And in one of um, the cases, uh, the crew uh, uh, murdered uh, the captain. He refu had refused to, to get to Sweden. And uh, they, they, yeah, he, he, he um, were killed. And I don't think any police uh, records uh, uh, no, no police investigation made after. I think it uh, disappeared in all other uh, dramatic uh, scenes just now. The, the, the most great um, most visitation was 8 of May 1945 in um, 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 let's see. You can see Kainus Kakarisuando uh, in the north. Um, you can see the walk 
from Norway to Caribbean around them. It was as a 70 deserters who fled, but uh, 53 of them uh, came in in, in Sw the Swedish territory. Um, I have some pictures. Uh, I have interviewed uh, some of the sons and daughters to uh, these desert deserters who, who stayed in Sweden. And um, you can see um, to the left um, a childless Gebirgs artillery regiment uh, in December 1941 in uh, North Norwegian. A, a private photo from one of the daughters who went deserted. And up uh, the right above, uh, Wilhelm Grimborg, who killed the two officers um, uh, when they escaped to, to Sweden. Uh, that's an, a photo from the interneuronslager Büringe outside Stockholm. All uh, the deserters um, were photographed uh, in that uh, camp. So uh, it, that's a, that material, material you can find if, if you want to see it. And the photo uh, done to the right um, is just when uh, the deserters came into Sweden. They came straight in to a, to a, American, uh, no, a Swedish American secret base at the border. And um, a Swedish doctor took uh, several photos among these, these photos. I don't know uh, the name of the, the deserters, but if we have um, all the photos from Buringen, I think um, we could identify uh, many of them. Uh, the Altersverteilung. Uh, in the beginning, uh, 1940 to 43, um, there were mostly young uh, deserters. You can see that 75% uh, was under 25 years old. And there was hardly no one uh, uh, who were older than 35. 1945, that's another um, structure. Uh, the deserters have been much older. And I think uh, the same procedure um, happens in the Wehrmacht in total in Norway. Uh, ma the military leading um, uh, replaced young who, who were transported to the Central Europe and, and the older came, came uh, to Norway. So that's... Uh, Uh, na nationality is um, uh, among the des deserters. 52% uh, were from the Deutsche, Deutschland, also the Grenz Sieben und Dreisig. And um, then 20% from Austria. Then uh, you can see the other areas, um, Poland, that's the West Poland, the old German areas, and um, Czechoslovakia, Frankreich is uh, Elsa's Lothringen, and um, I have just learned me that Yugoslavia um, is uh, firstly uh, Slovenia. Uh, among Sonstiges, uh, there is some Volksdeutsch, uh, Romania, and so on. So that's um, a very international uh, army. Let me be surprising for, for me as read. Not, not for you, I, I think. The flucht motive is inter interesting. There's very, very man, many different uh, motives, of course. Uh, the five most frequent uh, motives um, is this uh, Kriegsmüdigkeit uh, is fr uh, in front of all uh, the Gebirgs army in uh, the north of Sweden. 
um, there is man, many people, many soldiers who, who, who says, I can, I can read, it is young of Deutschland. Det är tid där sänger nerven, den har inte en belastning, den är in, er in den fyrfjärden kamp avskesätts var, nicht mer standhalten konten. Um, that's a, a good description and uh, there is very, very many soldiers who um, jump off uh, when, when uh, the Gebegs army retired from north fin of Finland to north of Nor Norway. Oft, often uh, over uh, the Tone River, you know, in the north. Uh, Statsangehörighet, uh, spannungen uh, between um, uh, Reichsdeutscher and the other nationalities is many desert deserters who, who um, take up. Um, August Müller påpir för att de österreicher från den deutschen officeren in besondere den Preussen ser slecht behandelt würden. Um, that's um, one of many uh, notice just in that case. Norwegischen förlobten um, Many deserters um, came with their girlfriend over the, the, across the, the frontier. And uh, some have even uh, children with them. Um, we know that uh, about 10,000 children were a result uh, in Norway of, with the German uh, fathers. And, um, that's not so strange that, that it was an, a very frequent motive. Uh, that's firstly is in uh, the, the south of Norway. The, the deserters who come from the south of Norway uh, had this motive, motive more than uh, in the north. The south uh, army were more stationed. It was an occupation army and um, they stationed in, in the same places during a long time. I think the soldiers could have had time to establish in, in uh, the area, especially around Oslo. The fighting army in the north had, of course, not the same possibilities. But uh, the, the can read what um, Karl Malek of Österreich um, said. The erlaugnis so heirat wurde ihm nicht erteilt, angesichts der Tatsache, dass sie und ihre Familie nicht als absolut deutschfreundlich galten. Uh, man, from, from the military command in uh, Norway, they were as a negative if... Um, the family had uh, showed uh, anti-German attitudes. And um, that, uh, I can say, so think uh, that that uh, is a right um, uh, thought. There is one, one uh, soldier who said, Durch die Verlobung habe ich einen Einblick gewonnen in die schwere Behandlung, der die Norweger aufgesetzt sind. So that's... Um, a, a, a motive to, to escape to anti-national socialist Einstellung in the end of the war many deserters uh, uh, take up uh, the anti-Nazi holding um, maybe that that's um, that's a beschön what you would call it that um, beschönigen of the motive I can't uh, analyze it, but, but all uh, the motives um, can be uh, some parts of, of um, the again. So that, that can, can be a, a, a build also.
and the front uh, in the south of Norway, many young soldiers who um, um, had heard reputation that they would send to the front in Central Europe, firstly, the Russian front in the beginning of the war, but in the end of the war, Central Europe, and they, they um, take the chance uh, and uh, leave Norway. Then um, the sixth uh, motive, um, als angst von repressalien gegen seine Familie. Ein österreichischer hat den schon lange überlegt zu fliehen, hätte es aber nicht gewagt, bis Wien befreit wäre und seine Angehörigen keine Repressalien ausgesetzt sein würden. Uh, so that's a motive um, who, who man, many soldiers in the end uh, take up. May möglich uh, beschönigen even this motive. I don't know. Um, the other part of my presentation, this is the, the, the deserters who were sent back. Uh, during November 1940 and uh, March 1943, um, a Swedish secret, very secret uh, regulation stated that all deserters would send back to Norway and Finland. It was um, uh, a decision um, uh, of the demand on um, the uh, German government. Uh, so Sweden. Uh, dare not to, to um, take in uh, soldiers uh, with, with this uh, decision. But um, um, you can even see that, that uh, during that time, the Swedish holding uh, were changed. In the beginning 1940-41, almost all the deserters uh, were uh, send back, but in the end of this period, uh, all were uh, taken in, in in Sweden. Uh, Twenty-eight uh, deserters were sent back to in total, and forty-two during this period uh, would come in. So that that's um, a very very special um, uh, situation. Sweden has, has officially said that 14 soldiers were uh, sent back, but when I dig in the archives, in the local archives, uh, I find more and more uh, such things. That's interesting. Um, two, two examples of um, uh, deserters who were sent back. Hermann Ebel, um, he was um, um, a German uh, deserter who came to Sweden in February 1942. The same day he was sent back. His personal motive was that he uh, wouldn't go to the Leningrad front. He had heard uh, reputation that his company uh, would go to, to um, uh, the Leningrad, um, but in the uh, yeah in this, he, he was sent back and uh, was ar arrested and uh, in the summer 1942 he was uh, executed. But um, that's for Ulfstalde Felkerist uh, they said that the motive was a criminal uh, that he had stolen money from uh, other. Uh, comrades in, in the company, which he denied. Uh, so, but, but they say nothing about his personal motives. And um, I think that's a, a, a strange situation. Um, maybe there is more uh, similar uh, situations that the motives are differ from the personal uh, when they come to Sweden and what they were judged for. 
I don't know, but uh, that's interesting. The last deserter in who, who, who um, come to Sweden was jo Johan Sen, and, and who were sent back. That was in the end of November 1942. Um, he was 20 years old, um, Grenze Polizei, and he um, met a Norwegian girl, and uh, they decided to, to escape to Sweden. He, came first, and after three days interrogation in, um, by, by Swedish military and um, Swedish police, they sent back him. And he was arrested and he was executed in May 1943 in Oslo. Um, I, I saw, uh, I noticed that his um, uh, girlfriend came in to Sweden, he, even who she in May 1943, and uh, he, she was pregnant, and I could find that he bore a um, child uh, in uh, Strandstad in August 43. I checked uh, the population register, and I find that uh, there were a um, person, uh, Chell Walter, the name I heard him when, when from the hospital. Uh, who um, lived in Bohuslän and were uh, born August 43. I called him and that was the same person. Um, that's a <laughs> little interesting, dramatic for me even. But, but uh, he, he uh, told me that he was 20 years old when he heard from her mother uh, that he was, was a German deserter. She was so traumatized that he couldn't um, told him uh, before uh, he was 20 years old. He contacted Deutsche Rote Kreuz and had this uh, picture of, uh, from a study when uh, Johan Sand lived um, Germany to Norway. And a uh, uh, sister to Johan Sand had the same uh, photo um, with Deutsche Rote Kreuz and they could uh, then uh, meet. Uh, so, so he got his family that way 20 years too late. But, but that's an interesting um, history. Johan Sen, uh, son lives in Bohuslän and I uh, have very good contact. Many interesting uh, uh, notes. Um, I have even in that, this material some uh, bemärkningar or reflections, so what you can call it. Uh, the representativity for this desert uh, to the whole uh, German army in Norway. That's a question that I think uh, the conflicts between Reich Deutsch and, and, and uh, other nationalities are is it in reality? Uh, das felen von desertören aus der Waffen SS ist auffallend. Uh, I can find only one deserter from Waffen SS summer 1940, a person who remained in Sweden. Can it be so that many soldiers don't mention uh, the, the, the relation to, to Waffen SS? I don't know. Um, but uh, that's an interesting um, question. And uh, then, then the, the question I take up uh, before um, about um, uh, Ebel and uh, the different motives is even an interesting uh, study. My uh, ambition is to study this, uh, yeah, these notes and, and much other notes in, in the deserter uh, traffic uh, next year. Um, so I hope I can return maybe later on. Okay. Mm -hmm.